How's it going everybody, Antitiff here, and I have another mod installed tutorial for you guys today. This one's for the newly released iPod mod. Now, I shouldn't say newly released because by the time some people are watching this video, it's probably going to be about 7 years later if Minecraft's still that freaking popular. So, what this iPod mod does, it adds music to Minecraft that you can play. There's about 11 different tracks you can listen to. Sadly, you cannot put your own music on. Hopefully, that's going to be an update because there are new apps coming and I hope they do that because that would be phenomenal adding your own music to Minecraft you can just play right through on the game in the game very simple so what you want to go ahead and do is um download the links in the um in the description and we're going to open them up mine's in uh downloads here and we got the iPod mod go ahead and open that up and we're going to need WinWar or 7-zip to open these up and I do mod loader now he doesn't specify using mod loader at all but mod loader is just a good mod to have because it separates the files and it's really nice keeps everything nice and tidy okay so what you're gonna do now is go to you um, start user app data roaming not minecraft and if that doesn't work go to start search type in app percent symbol app data percent symbol and clicking roaming right here and then go to dot minecraft alright so once you're in dot minecraft go to bin and go to minecraft.jar now this is a brand new minecraft.jar not modded so make sure I usually test my mods so make a backup by um, right clicking click, um, copy and just paste the copy somewhere else and I would force update in your minecraft so you can get a brand new dot minecraft jar folder I'm stumbling again and it helps you figure out if the mod even works so for your minecraft so some mods aren't compatible with each other that's what mod loader helps prevent. So, here's all the crap we're gonna go ahead and throw in right now. Throw in that, and then throw in mod loader right here. Now, a good tip right here is make sure made image is deleted, and make sure if you don't have mod loader already installed, like if this is your first time ever using mod loader, then you wanna go ahead and put mod loader in first, run Minecraft, close Minecraft, make sure everything works just fine, come back, and then put in the mod you're trying to install. That's a big mistake a lot of people make when doing a mods. Always want to make sure mod loader is installed first before any other mods. So once you get all that done, you're done basically. But there's one more check for you guys to do, just to make sure you guys make everything okay. Go to your mods folder. Now if you don't if you never used mod loader before, you're not gonna have a mods folder and you're gonna be fine. The mods folder is created when you first open mod loader on, on your Minecraft. So when you launch a Minecraft mod loader, it's gonna go ahead and make it. So you open that up and if there's any other zip folders in here or mod folders you want to go ahead and delete those or remove them because they're going to interfere with the actual mods and a lot of people forget about that like myself I forget about it and it crashes my minecraft very easily so once you do that you're basically done and uh, you can go ahead and launch minecraft up and see if it works All right here's log right in and we are in the game everything's fine make sure everything's working just good and there's the iPod right there everything works just fine so if you want to figure out how to use all this stuff all the features and stuff go ahead and watch my spotlight of the mod thank you guys for watching and if you like my videos please remember to comment subscribe see you guys later